Hi everyone, um, let's do some fun pictures uh, by making multiple copies of yourself in a project that I'm calling Multiplicity. Okay, on my desktop, I have a picture that I can share with you. Um, I shot this in my backyard and it shows uh, multiple instances of me. One, two, three, four. There's four instances of me in different parts of the same picture okay so let your imagination run wild with this one um, I have some examples on our class website for you to see and it'll probably be linked from this assignment all right so let's go back to a, a browser uh, I'm using Safari you can use Chrome or anything like that I'm not sure which one you will be using but if you're on a Chromebook I think it you probably be using Chrome all right so First, you're gonna do. First thing you're gonna do is go to this website called Photopia. Okay, it's up here. Photopia. That's the name of the assignment. Uh, the website. You're gonna go to. First thing you're gonna do is file, choose new, and then with the project, you're gonna name this multiplicity. Multiplicity. The width is 1280. Enter 1280, and then the height 720 and then the dpi is 72 let's leave the background as white all right leave the background as white and then just click create once you have that white canvas this is going to be your canvas okay then you're going to go up to file and choose open and place that is the third one down open and place Alright, I happen to know where my pictures are that I want to import, so it's on my desktop in a folder called Smart Phone Multiplicity. I'll click on that and then I'll select all these pictures. Select the first one, I'll hold my shift and select the last one, and then I'll hit choose. The pictures are going to upload to Photopia's website and when when it's all uploaded they will be put one stacked on top of the other so that you can see what they look like they are already nicely aligned for me I don't have to do anything okay so if you shot your pictures nicely without moving the camera between each shot this is done for you very easily okay so go ahead and click on the top layer on the right the top layer and then you're gonna go down to the fourth icon on the bottom where it says add raster mask click on that and then add another one go down to the second layer add a raster mask for that go down to the third layer add a raster mask for that and click on the fourth layer and add a raster mask for that okay then go up to the t very top raster mask click on it you'll notice the raster mask is white you come down next you're gonna come down to the bottom left and make sure that this this rectangle on top is black if it's not black just click on this icon here swap colors and it'll change basically just to change from black and white you just click on that icon if it's too difficult to remember just press X X will toggle between black and white okay our layer mask is white the rest of the mask is white we want to make sure we paint with black because if you paint white on white it's not you are not going to be able to see anything all right so go up to the top where it says brush tool click on the brush tool and then go up and choose the hardness make the hardness about 50 percent and then the size make that about maybe 40 pixels okay 40 pixels for the size and then hardness about 50 percent all right now you're ready to come down to this picture and you're gonna paint on the first instance of me okay 
So you're going to paint on the first instance of me. When you start painting on me, you'll see I'm, I'm disappearing. Basically, you're erasing me from that layer. All right? All right. You can... There's no overlap, no chance of overlap here, so this is probably okay. You can paint this kind of quickly, but when you get to the middle, you might want to be careful and don't overpaint this, okay? Just stay to the as close as you can to the edge. Okay, watch how I'm doing it. All right. When you do once you've done that, next thing you're going to do is do I'm on a Mac, so I'm the, I'm going to press command I if you're on Windows, you're going to do Control i See, as soon as you do that, you'll see that the second instance of me appears, okay? So you're going to come down to the second raster mask, select it in the layers palette, and then you're going to come over here and paint on the second instance of me, okay? So this is one where you kind of have to be careful because um, you're going to see that if you overdo this, there's going to be an overlap, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Okay, there. So I'm going to remove this. Okay, I don't think I need to remove so much of this because the next picture will show me in front, so it'll it'll be in front. Okay. Once we've done that, like the like the first uh, raster mask, you're going to do Command I. See. Now, if you look in here, I'm going to zoom in, okay? Just to, uh, to zoom in, I'm going to do Command Plus on the, since I'm on a Mac. And then if you're on a Windows machine, do Control Plus, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to click on the third raster mask. And you'll see, th this time, I'm going to remove the third instance of me, the one on the right. Okay, so I will paint with black, and I'm going to remove that third instance of me right here. Alright. There's no overlap here, so it's not going to be a problem. This is going to be easy to paint because there's no overlap. Alright. Uh, I'll do this very quickly. Alright. Okay. Just like before... When I'm done painting, I'm going to do Command-I. I'm on a Mac. I do Command-I. You guys will do Control-I. Okay, so you see it brought the fourth picture of me in, into the picture. But if I zoom in again by doing Command-Plus, you'll see that my head is missing over here. I'm holding the space bar so that I can move around just like we did in Photoshop, right? And now I'm going to fix, I'm going to fix this, um, this little bits here and there. So first I'm going to click on the second raster mask, and I'm going to paint back the part of my head that is missing. Okay, the raster mask, the part of my rest. Let's see. So uh, right there, part of my head is missing. And then I'll come over here and paint. Okay, I'll paint back my shoulder. Okay, right there. Okay, so this this little bit that's weird over here, I'm gonna have to switch the the color from black to white. And now I'm gonna paint this back. Oh, see that? Right there. So. At some point here, I'm going to have to come go up to the top and change my brush size to maybe like 10 or 15 percent, uh, 15 pixels. Okay, then I'll hit X. Then I'll hit X. And come back here and paint. Nope. Okay. There. There. Pretty good. Let's zoom out and take a look. 
So there's some weirdness here with Ziva, but you can fix that by going there. I just have to paint this back there. Paint this back. I'm on the top layer right there. And I'm painting that spot back so the Ziva gets her body back. And basically, I think that's it. So Command minus to zoom out. And then I'll use the crop tool. Click there and drag out crop the way the picture how I want and then go up top and click on the check mark to confirm and that's it next I'm going to go and make sure I save this as a PSD okay I'm going to save it as a PSD it's going to download to my computer when it's ready okay and I'm sure that it's ready already so next I'm going to go to layer why do you save it as a PSD well you save it as a PSD in case you want to go back and re-edit it or fix something that you miss okay if you didn't save it as a PSD you're gonna have to start all over from scratch all right once you have a copy as a PSD you can go to layer flatten image and then file export as a JPEG okay and just hit save all right now I'll, I'll minimize uh, Safari so you can see where it's saved. So it saved the copy here as a PSD. That's the one with the layers intact. And then here's another one called Multiplicity 2 because I already have a previous copy saved. That's why it won't overwrite. Now I'm going to rename this. And you should rename your file too. Rename it with your first name, last initial, the name of the assignment. So I'll just name mine. Peter P and then multiplicity okay um, I'm naming this number one okay that's just like that so that's it if you have more than one you're, you're turning in name it number two but be sure to name it with your name your last name initial and then in the name of the assignment multiplicity